Sorry I'm late. I uh, had to stop by hair and makeup on the way over here. <laughs> oh, hey, you're back too. How you doing? Of course, you know me. I'm Matt. Scar Smoking Vets 2. The Deuce. I'm here with probably the best better half there could be. This is Mrs. Matt. And you can tell by the look on her face, she doesn't like that nickname. This is Shell. CSV2 World, say hi to Shell. Shell, say hi to CSV2 World. Hi, CSV2 World. Now, earlier this afternoon, we had a, uh, what do they call that thing? Uh, Yabo? Dabo? Yippity dabity doobity doo? <laughs> Yet another box opening. I want to thank uh, uh, Pipe Squatch for that one. Thank you very much, bud. And I'm about to reach over here, if you'll pardon my arm, what we found in our Yabo for today. was something very new on the market. It's not even available here in Tennessee yet, is it? We had to have it shipped in. Mm -hmm. Get it up close so you can see it. America. I hope, and the screen is in reverse, so I'm hoping as it records, it's actually <laughs> coming out the right way. But it is Marka Bourbon, and I'll even throw up some still shots in the post-production editing for this. Now, you see our, our cigars are already lit. We're already going. We're not doing a regular review, are we? No. We're going to review the new America bourbon, uh, which has been recommended to us by Stephen Cochran. How you doing there, Brother Stephen? Thank mm -hmm. you very much. And we'll give you our views on what's going on here with this amber liquid. Um, I'm probably going to bastardize mine so I can hear the groans coming from all the others. But I'm going to drink mine with Coke. From all the others? You're hearing the groans from me. <laughs> <laughs> so, instead of a cigar review uh, on this episode of Cigar Smoking Vets 2, The Deuce, we're going to review Marika Bourbon. Stick with us. We're going to get everything started. So what we're going to do here is first we're going to open the bottle. Just so you know, I've never tasted this before. This is a first time go around. Have you tried it before, Chef? Oh, and of course I catch her with her cigar in her mouth. <laughs> Brand new, out of the box. Never had it before, huh? Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice little pop there. Hope the microphone caught that. <laughs> Otherwise, people just think, um, well, it solidifies my craziness to them. And it sounds like a... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what it sounded like. So first, before we pour anything, gotta do the sniff test. Ooh. Ooh. I can smell the grains, and my mouth's already watering. That is very, very good on the nose. And it's funny you should say on the nose, we are in heavy coats, I'm not sure if it shows at night. It's probably somewhere, I didn't catch the weather. Of course, the late news is playing right now. Um, but it, I would say it's probably somewhere between upper 40s, lower 50s, no warmer than mid 50s, and... Miss South Africa over here. It's freezing. And Maine born but raised in Hawaii. This is cold for, for both of us. Mm-hmm. Unpleasant. So the first thing we did was a nice sniff test. Cute little Humpty Dumpty mug for <laughs> You Humpty Dumpty wife. <laughs> All the king's horses and all the king's men better stay away from you, sweetheart. <laughs> Just 
just a little bit. We don't want anything to overpower. We don't know the body and the strength of the bourbon, so. <clears throat> Ooh. The minute it goes into the the glass, it takes on different. Oh yes. Very very beautiful beautiful aroma so far. It's not. Uh, it doesn't have a bitter smell at all. It's. Uh, very well blended. It doesn't attack the nose. <laughs> now. I was going to get her Pepsi, but I think she's been following the the uh, Miami Dolphins a bit too much. We decided to go with Coke. <laughs> and as with everything that we do on our channel, neat. Thank you. Hold on. Of course. We get home. <laughs> My New Hampshire moose is empty. <laughs> Ooh, would you look at that? <laughs> there's, there's, there might be a deer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And always, always don't want too much air to get in it. Keep your bourbon fresh by keeping the lid back on while you're not pouring. That changes the flavor profile. Oh, condensation from your uh, from your coke. I was mm -hmm. like, don't tell me I just spilled some bourbon on me. Now I don't get too personal too often here on Cigar Smoking Vets 2. The deuce. The deuce. Deuce. But I want to take this time on my channel, our channel. Normally she's on that side of the camera. Mm -hmm. That lovely voice that you heard in the uh, very first episode of Cigar Smoking Vets 2, the deuce, right here on YouTube. Uh, the interviewer was this beautiful, lovely woman, my wife, and I want. That mind are small. I couldn't read your lips. <laughs> I wanted to wish my wife a very happy first wedding anniversary. And to my husband. And to, um, to America for making it a real round solid one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh my. very special. Very, very smooth. Now, normally, I would grab a cigar out of my humidor that I knew. Hello. I'm going to redo that one. There we go. I guess all I had to do was fart and it comes on, huh? <laughs> Normally I'll grab a cigar out of my humidor, and one that, you know, I, I know the flavor profile of the cigar, of the libation that I may be drinking. This is the first time I've been having, I've been having, first time I've been having, first time I've had Murica bourbon, and I didn't know what cigar would pair good with it, and I'm going with the CAO. Columbia. I'm not sure if you can see it with the with the lighting. It's not the perfect of pairings, however, it is still pretty good. With your Coke, Merca Bourbon and Coke, and your acid. Which one was this? Connecticut, I think. Yes, the acid blue Connecticut. In the cigarello size, mm -hmm. in the tins. How's that pairing up? It's probably not the best because of the sweetness of the Connecticut and um, the, the, I'm going to say it, the baldiness or, of, of the 
She said bold, not balls. <laughs> Boardy. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, the, the... The America bourbon is a, um, a type of... Although it's mellow, mm -hmm. it has that wild... Bite. Yes. It's mellow, smooth, with just a very, and the whole time I'm talking, my hands in the face. <laughs> it's mild, smooth, but has just a little bit of bite right there at the end. Exactly. So the pairing of a Connecticut and um, the America is not perfect, but it does leave a very pleasant aftertaste. Now let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. You're sweetening up your America bourbon with Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Would that sweetness of the Coke help blend those two together? The um, sweetness of, of the cigar with the sweetness of the uh, of the Coca-Cola? My suggestion is go for an unflavored cigarillo or not cigar. In, not infused. Not infused. Um, so that you can get the true pairing. Um, because the two sweetnesses of the Coke and the, the cigar perhaps a little bit too much but I plan to put my cigar down now and enjoy the America and we're going to continue going because you know what if we have some outtakes and we continue talking yes And with that, it's getting a bit too chilly out here for Shell. Mm -hmm. My uh, African blood doesn't like this cold weather one little bit, so I'm going to bid you all adieu. You're going to bid what? All adieu. Can, can we afford that? Yes. And I don't know about that CSV2 <laughs> world. I'm not sure we can afford... Adieu. A who? Ciao for now, and do yourselves a favor. Buy yourself a bottle of America. Really, really worth every penny spent. Not. CSV 2 World? Are oh, you still here? Hey, go away for a second. <laughs> Let's see inside, babe. Okay. And CSV 2 World. Quiet on the set. What are you bringing the blanket? What blanket? There's no blanket out here. NCSV2 World. The Deuce. That's going to be my new thing. The Deuce. The Deuce. CSV2. The Deuce. Here's what we're going to do. When I upload this to uh, YouTube, either tonight, maybe tomorrow morning, uh, depends on how long it takes me to edit the son of a gun. Um, I'll put the link where you can order yourself some America bourbon. And if it comes in, if the video comes out in reverse, like I'm seeing in this little monitor down here, then uh, I'll go ahead and show you a picture, a couple pictures of uh, Shell and I uh, that we took while we were doing this entire review. So do yourself a favor, go ahead and get yourself a bottle of America Bourbon, uh, Derek uh, 
um, I apologize if I if I bought your name here, um, your last name, sir. Is it Sizon or Sizon? Uh, great job, home run, uh, and thank you to Stephen Cochran, uh, longtime personal friend. Uh, been teasing, I think since 2011. Uh, that uh, we've been wanting to have you on on the channel. We're still gonna make that happen. I'm hoping brother uh, Now that I know the 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 flavor profile and the body of Merca bourbon I can do better with with pairing so I Think the brain uh, the 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 cold is beginning to get to my brain because I'm not really thinking so Last time I'm gonna say it uh, Derek Sison, Sison. I'm sorry if I, uh, you know, I'm sorry for botching your name there. Very good bourbon. Thank you, Stephen Cochran, for hooking me up with this very, very beautiful libation. And CSV2, the deuce. Until we see you, will we see you? Until you see me again. Happy smoking.